Hi, I'm Ruth Martyrfield from Data School Cohort 15. I'm going to show you how to make a schema ball or a chord chart. This chart type is great for showing movement or relationships between different pairs of data points. And what's great about this version adapted from my colleague Hannah is that it doesn't require any external data prep. So let's jump straight into Tableau and get started. Here we have our template for our chord chart slash schema ball. And we have points from one to another with the weight being determined by the value of the number between the two points. So before we start, let's have a look at how our data needs to be. We can have it with, we, we need it with a, a row ID, which is representing the a unique ID for the journey from A to B with the start point and end point defined and the value of the relationship or the quantity between them. You can also have it starting out in this format with your unique ID for the journey from A to B with a measure of a certain value. So let's assume your data structures in that format and we'll get that in. So to start off, we can say data, new data source, or we can just go to our files and folders and drag something in. And you can see we have a row ID, start point, end point, and amount. So we'll start off by control clicking and pivoting these two fields. And now we have our what we can rename as our direction from our start point to our end point. We can rename our dimension. Now you might decide you want to call this something like borough, in which case you would need to go into the template and instead of changing this to dimension, change dimension to borough, but it doesn't really matter which way. We have our row ID and we have our amount, which we're going to call measure. We'll change this to a number. We don't need to change row ID because obviously that's a unique identifier. We don't need to be aggregating or counting that. And we'll go back into our chart. So now we have dimension, direction, row ID, measure, just like our original data, which has dimension, direction, row ID, measure. And you'll notice that there's a little asterisk here that says to you, it's this calculation is assuming that your start point is a field or the word start point is in your data. So just check your data source one more time. Did you actually have, oops, did you actually have start point and end point or did you have from to or did you have beginning end or source origin or direction? So that, that little asterisk is just there to remind you that even after you've changed everything, there's still some content that you're expecting to see. So otherwise update this calculation. Okay, so yes, you're happy dimension, direction, row ID measure. You can now go and replace your data source, your template data, you're replacing with your new unpivoted data. You say, okay. And now it's all changed. The colors have gone because obviously we've got a different dimension color, but you're probably going to put your new colors anyway. So we'll put green for our focus and gray for our not in focus. And there we have all our data coming through to our new chord chart. So as in the template, it's adapted from here. There's lots more information on this blog post from my colleague where you can get some more tips and tricks on how to edit this even more. Thanks for watching this video and I hope you now feel confident to make a schema ball or chord chart yourself. Please check the description of this video for links to the additional material you might find helpful in building this chart yourself. And if you enjoy this video, you might also enjoy a video for how to build a radar chart by my colleague Gordon. Click the link on the screen to watch it next.